Hi guys, this is Dash dashing into you with this new video! Um, it's a new series that I thought of. Um, it's uh, The Letter, a horror visual novel. Okay, so I'll start with a new game. Oh my god. <laughs> nice jump scare though. Yeah, yeah. The Ermer. Uh, Ermen. What? Um, Ermen Guard Mansion? Okay. It was built for Lord William and Lady Elizabeth, Iron Guard of Luxborn, humble ambassadors of peace and beloved by their people. Both were well known for their compassion and generosity, never failing to extend a helping hand to anyone in need. Under the influence and wealth, what was once a small, sleepy village grew to a prosperous and bustling town. However, the seasons of joy eventually ended when the good nobles perished at the hands of a great plague. The riches and legacy were henceforth passed on their only child, Lady Charlotte Ermengarde. Ermengarde! The mansion has stood since the 1620s, a witness to a very long history of joy and pain after Lady Charlotte committed suicide, the great husband. Okay, and that is when it began. Surrounding villagers spoke of seeing and hearing unearthly things of Christ and house that filled the nights and hearsays of a mysterious you. Mysterious women roaming the hallowed halls aimlessly. People who dared enter its walls were simply never heard from again. Okay, even after 400 years, these stories remain much like the house itself. Whisper about the once great house, its legend and its curse still fall upon the villagers' ears. In spite of this, the current owners are convinced that these stories are nothing more than a hoax. So I think they'll just try and get in, right? That's what the typical horror stories go. Like Pandora's block, the secrets that lie inside are way to be discovered by brave souls. No matter what happens, take care not to be consumed by the curse. Oh, <coughs> good luck. Okay, thank you very much. Ah, peaceful days. Isabella, incoming call. So, hello, Isabella, are you there? A familiar jittery voice comes from the other end. Hmm, who the hell is oh, Isabella? Hey, Rose. I'm at Saint Goretti. What do you mean? What's the matter? It's the mansion, silly. I'm here and you're late. Okay. Jeez, I'm sorry. We'll shift together. You promised. Oh my god. I like so the amazing. accent though. You were planning on It's really good. Check this place out on my own, won't you? You oh. chickened out. I'm so sorry. I'm Calm so sorry. Down. You know I take my promises seriously. I'd like to believe that. So hurry up and get here. This okay. This is huge. A bit too quiet since no one's lived here since like forever, but Beautiful, nonetheless. Wait, wait, I'll just go and take it. Okay, I'm back. Why are you so surprised? So this I'm Isabella. The first time you've been there. I know, I just wish I could. It really takes my breath away. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Not after the rumors that say it's haunted. Okay, Jeez, it's haunted. never mind those rumors. Ghosts aren't real after Ghosts all. Ghosts aren't real. Whoa, the accent. And even I really if they like are, it, which they are not. They, they can't are not. do anything. Oh, really? They're nothing but spirits. Oh. You don't know that. They might be listening or watching right now, and they might not be happy with you enough to curse you. Yeah. No offense, sweetie, but that's a bit of a stretch. Uh, believe it or not, it's better to be careful. <coughs> right. You know, not every property you know. we sell will end up with a dead body stuffed in a sofa. And I think that mansion is where we'll likely find another one. I can feel it. Another one. So there's a that first was case, one right? Time. Just Get here ASAP, please. ASAP. I'm bored being here on my own. Fine, fine. Let me just finish familiar. up here. I'll okay, see you. Bye. Um, where did I hear that voice? I'll check out on the voice actors later. I think I, it's Who's really that? familiar. I look up from my phone to see Rebecca. Becca giving me a question. Oh, that? It's just Rose. Rose? The one you said who trained you for your job back when you started? Ooh. You're working together again? Just for this property, we've been scoping out that big mansion down Anselm Village. Today is sort of its grand opening to the public. The RC wants to give it one last check before we let potential buyers tour it this afternoon. Oh wait, mansion? That big spooky one you've been telling every everyone? Didn't you keep saying how it just gave you the creeps? Yeah. You actually went there? And you're going back? Well, I'm so sorry, I did Becca. promise Rose I wouldn't ditch her. Okay, that's And besides, really good. a job is a job. Gotta do what you gotta do to make a living. Right! <laughs> You're making sense now! As soon as those words have left my mouth, Becca let out the soft chop. What What's so funny? Nothing! <laughs> it's just that I didn't expect you to say that. Coming from you, it sounds so... out of character. Hey! 
She's. I mean, no offense,、hmm. but you've been freaking out about the place being creepy ever since you. Got... I honestly thought you'd back out. Not all the time. I could really use a huge amount of cash right now, and this is just the fastest way to get it. Plus,、yeah. listen to this. Briar Realty wants it sold as soon as possible, and the agent who lands the deal is going to get a huge. They never give bonuses like that. Getting that would make life so much easier. They're desperate. I'm desperate. It's perfect. It's fucking perfect. <laughs> you know, if you're really an urgent need of Ashton, we can always. I have to keep myself from groaning out loud. In the years I've known her, I can already tell what to expect once she has that. Becca, I've noticed that you've been living off instant noodles. Oh, what a good friend, though. Her voice, like your sister, should be insistent. Sadly, I'm reminded by Becca's excellence of her job teaching voice to receive. Stop eating junk! They're cheap, but they're not good for you. You'll definitely end up in the hospital if you keep at it. Hey, I eat other things too. Oh. The jewelry. That's not going to work on me. And I saw it when you were cleaning your flat last week. The instant noodle cups outnumber everything else. You're just exaggerating. Did you even see what's in my cupboard yet? I'm not just living on instant noodles alone. I've got canned beans, peas, tuna, ham, and even hamburgers in there. What the? Hmm. Oh my god. Oh really? I would have laughed a little at that if I didn't know it would only lead to more repercussions. Aren't those the same ones you won from the grocer's raffle more than a year ago? Oh, so oh, I sincerely hope、idea. you're checking the date stamps on those things before eating them. <coughs> In any case, those are, those still, are not... still not. To... Possibly laughing at some funny distant memory. Okay. When she looks up, I immediately brace myself. More words from her. Sometimes it's just better to let Becca talk until she's out of things to say. But when she turns her attention back to me, there's only one. <sighs> Aw, she's so What cute. What am I going to do with you? What a good friend, though. She says this more to herself than me. Her voice shifting to something kinder, even motherly. If I'm looking for an exact word. I hope you know that it's impossible not to worry about you when you're like this. You don't have to keep. You don't、it. have to keep eating the same thing. Yeah, I, I already、will. told you before. You're always free to reheat food in my fridge. Thanks, Becca. I really, I really appreciate it, but you don't need to keep babying me. Ah. You've been taking care of me since after I moved here. You have to take a break sometime. And before you ask again, no. You know I'm not a fan of borrowing money, and I'm not going to ask you to give me what you earned hard for yourself. Mm-hmm. Ah, mm-hmm.、uh, you and your pride. But suit yourself. The offer stays on the table, though. Oh, what a good friend! I'll keep my relationship with Becca high. I nod in response, if only to get her to drop the topic. Okay, but I'm pretty certain I will never take that offer, ever. She's really good. It has nothing to do with pride. I've simply seen plenty of times how friendships can take a turn for the worse just because of a few of a few unpaid debts. Okay, yeah, that's right. That's really true. I don't want something like that to happen between me and Becca. We may argue about a lot of small petty things, but she already feels like a real sister to me. Yeah, I don't want to lose that friendship over something so trivial. Becca taking a quick glance at something behind me, probably the plaque hanging above the notice board, snaps me. Nope. Enough chit chat. Lunch is ending, and my students will be back any minute. We can catch up later. Good luck with your clients. You better treat us to lunch or something if you get that sale. You bet. <sighs> She returns to her desk and begins sifting through the pages of a rather thick history textbook. She's probably working out her lesson plan for next week. Ah, <laughs> or trying at least. Her eyes are distant, and she doesn't seem to attend too attentive to whatever is on the page. <laughs> As if she heard my thoughts, Becca starts coughing heavily. Her hand hastily goes to her mouth to stifle the sounds. Ah, this is precisely why I followed her here in the first place. Ah, that's cute. For someone who makes a habit of worrying for other people, Becca sure forgets how to take care of hey, herself. Hey, you sure so you、sad. can manage on your? I mean, you're still a bit feverish. Ah,、oh, hush, dear. Don't you worry about me.、Oh. Just drink some medicine, and I'll be right as rain. Ah. She has a cold for a couple of days now. Something about the strange weather not agreeing with her lately. And despite my advice to take the week off and rest, okay, I'll do this in a girly voice. I found her apartment empty when I dropped by this morning. She even left the medicine her doctor prescribed to her. Look who's being stubborn now. You shouldn't even be working right now. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, you big baby. I'll be fine. Now just go to work and stop making that rose girl wait for you. 
Yes. I'll call you if I still feel bad. And you can come pick me up if it makes you feel any better. Okay. She offers me a reassuring smile and I can only sigh. Okay. Why do you even bother? There's no stopping her once she has decided. Defe defeated, I reach inside my bag to pull out the same bottle of medicine she left earlier. And I placed it in front of her. Unfortunately for her, there's one thing I'm not letting her have. Alright, but don't forget what the doctor said. Drink this on time. I'll see you later, okay? There's an amused gleam in her eyes when she shifts her gaze back. <laughs> Look who's playing the mother hen now. <coughs> yeah. Rebecca. <laughs> okay, oh, she's Rebecca. Okay. I won't tease anymore. I'll make sure to drink it, Mom. Ah. Uh, she cast another look at the clock. Wait, I'll just save it. Because it might go away. Okay. Before I can retort, she cast another look at the clock. Okay. I take that as a sign to finally end the conversation in my short visit. With a wave of goodbye, I leave her alone to her classroom and her thoughts. Oh, goodbye, Becca. I hail a passing taxi to take me to the property as soon as I leave the school grounds. The mansion is some ways out in the countryside, but I don't have trouble giving the driver directions. Apparently, everyone in Luxburn City knows of it, including every bit of rumor surrounding the place. Just the mention of its name is enough for Lucas to give you cautious, sidelong glances. I learned that the hard way the first time I committed there, it only boosted my belief that there's something more to the house. Even the news of it being renovated and placed back up in the market has caused quite a stir. Thankfully, it died down a few weeks later. The place would have become a lot harder to sell otherwise. I avert my eyes from the window as soon as the building shrinks in the distance. We get a glimpse of the countryside soon, although a quick glance at my ma watch tells me where we are still a few minutes away from our destination. Might as well get some work done. This place is really good. It's- wait! Did you see that guys? It's Zarbox Coffee. Nice one! <laughs> it's really good though. Rose did ask me to do this. some last minute reviews of the mansion's documents yesterday. I already looked them over last night, but you never know when the things may go wrong. Life has ways of messing things up like that. Halfway through reading the papers, my phone rings again. I pick it up without looking, neatly tucking it between my ear and shoulder. It's probably just Rose again anyway. Rose? Hello, Rose. Guess again. Oh. Ash. Bingo. Hey, what's up? Just check if you're still cool later this Oh, he looks like a typical K-pop guy. <laughs> it's really good though. You mean that thing with Zach? Yeah, you know the indie movie he's been working on for months. The What's that going on tonight at a film fest, and he's really excited to watch it with us. He even called in the middle of the night just to remind me. Okay. No, don't worry, I didn't forget. I'll uh, be there. Okay, we'll be there. See you later. What? Around five. It's the first day of the Ermengarde Mansion's open house. Ermengarde, I'm, I'm right though. a number of potential buyers. I'll be booked the whole afternoon. Ermengarde Mansion? You know, the big Jacobean mansion at Anselm Village. I'm on my way there right now, actually. Okay. Yeah, well, Rose is already there, but yeah. I see. Looks like the scaredy cat finally toughened up. Oh. Shut up. Everyone's teasing Isabella. That's good. <laughs> I'll see you later. Drop me a call when you're done. I'll see if I can pick you up. Whatever. Bye. What good friends they have. Stupid Ashel. <laughs> Always teasing me whenever he sees a chat. Nice fun though, Ashel. Ha! I'll show him more stuff. Okay. <coughs> it takes a few more minutes until I can actually find it. Okay, there's a journal. So what? Where's the new part of the journal though? Oh. Before going to Ermengarde, Isabella Santos dropped by. Oh, her, her last name is Santos, that's good. Remind me later to take her. Food. On the way to the mansion, Isabella received a phone call from Ashton for you, maybe. Okay, profiles, Isabella. Yeah, Hannah, Zach, Mary. Oh, so this, this will be the people inside. So Isabella is. Oh no, I won't read that yet. Relationship. My relationship with Rebecca is really good. I like it. It takes a few more minutes until I finally reach the infamous mansion. I have to admit the entire property does look wonderful from the outside. Beautiful is situated in the middle of a vast open field with several lush green trees dotting the immediate vicinity. Ah! The c that converges in a small woodlands nearby. Yet, despite all of this, it does nothing to hide that something is just wrong. Oh, something is really wrong. You're in a horror game, right? Surrounding area is unusually silent, and only the rustling of the leaves can be heard as the occasional breeze passes. While Anselm Village is just a few miles away, everybody keeps their distance on purpose. Perhaps out of fear, 
her horrified at the thought of falling under the mansion's curse. Somehow, it makes me feel sad. Oh, the lack of immediate human presence just makes this place all the more eerie than it has any right to be. If it's uncanny and broad, broad daylight, I can't imagine how this place is going to be at night. Who plan uh. to go inside that place, Missy? Yeah, duh. The voice nearly makes me jump. Without completely taking my eyes away from the house, I give the driver a confused nod. A bit passes while I wait for him to say more, but it's only it's a non-committal hum and a return of my nod. Belatedly, it occurs to me that he must be waiting for me. I mentally slap my face for spacing out and promptly hand him the fare with Okay, I expect him to leave soon. As if something hasn't Is been said. Is something wrong? Look, Missy, I'm sure you've heard what the people are telling everyone about that. Nobody likes to be disturbed when they're at peace. And I'm pretty sure whatever they say is in that house doesn't want to either. I admit they did a good job fixing it up, but there must have been a reason why even distant relatives of the family who used to own the house never lived in there despite inheriting it. Oh. They wanted to get rid of it. Oh my god, he knows a lot. Maybe they just didn't like it? You never know. I breathe out a heavy sigh as I make my approach towards the house. After hearing enough of the rumors, I should have expected the conversation to take that turn. But I'm already here. Backing out is completely out of the question. It isn't like I have any choice in the matter anyway, right? If I want to get that bonus and commission one way or another, I've got to sell this property. Yes, the door is ajar when I get ajar, ajar, I don't know, when I get to it, however, and my own copy of the keys dangle in my hand, now useless. Rose must have left it open when she arrived. That's weird. We may be the only people here this early, but I've never known her as someone careless. Sorry. Entering what greets me inside leaves me gaping. They've cleaned every corner, waxed the floor, dusted the antique, searched every nook, and cranny and crevice, and made it speak and span. Yeah, it looks really good though. All for the sake of making the mansion more enticing to the modern day lords and ladies. But no matter how hard you try, the mansion still looks as soulless as ever. As I thought, it's going to eat you alive. If you ask me, they should have listened to what other people have been telling them and leave this place alone. Yeah. Why do you even need to sell this place? Some things in the world are better left in peace, never to be disturbed ever again. Rose? Got him! Rose, I'm here. Where are you? Yeah, where are you, Rose? Oh my god, that's really creepy. Oh, who am I kidding? In a place this big, I don't think she'll hear me no matter how deafening the silence is. She could be all the way on the other side of the property for all I know. Quickly, I reach for my phone and dial her number. Phone. The number you have dialed has not been recognized. Oh! It's like, like she was hidden by the house, right? Or maybe the ghost did hear us talking and spirited her away, right? Right? Oh god, she's getting afraid though. No, Isabella, don't be ridiculous. She probably just wandered deeper into the house and lost signal or something. The number you have dialed has not been recognized. Why is it not recognized though? But to no avail. Oh boy, I have a very bad Rose? feeling about this. If you can hear me, please come out. Come on, Rose. This isn't funny. You know this place gives me the creeps. No answer. This isn't going to work. Place is big. She can't be anywhere. I need to start looking for her. Oh, God. This will be really creepy, though. I noticed something moved by the hallway above the grand What the hell? Rose? Rose, is that you? Not funny. I'm leaving you if you don't come out. Not coming out, huh? She's my friend, I can't really live until I know she's alright. I make another. Please. Oh. <laughs> ah, she finally reached her. Hello? Hello? Rose, I'm here at the mansion. Where the hell are you? Oh, I seriously hope it doesn't get cut off again before I can get an Rose, answer from her. Come on, where are you? I'm. What? The attic? Oh my god, that's really creepy though. Do I really need to go there? With how deep inside the mansion the attic is, there's barely any signal there. No wonder I can't contact her. But why is she there? That's not her voice though, I think. That's really not her. She has just to make me go fetch her in the creepy room of this place. She doing, is she doing this to get me back at me for being late? No, whatever. I'll just go. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. The sooner I meet up with her, the sooner I'll feel better about being here. I carefully make my way up the staircase, my legs wobble as I mentally curse the fact that I've chosen real estate instead of picking a career that doesn't involve strange abandoned houses. Before reaching the top, the grand hallway greets me. 
Oh my god, this is really cre ah, creepy. There are two attics here, one on each side. But this one has been converted to a storage room sort in some way. I find it least likely for Rose to wander there by herself. Besides, she never did like going to stop his storage rooms. Oh, she knows her friend well. So I head towards the west wing first, where a simple wooden door at the end of the hall opens to a small room. Inside is another set of steps leading to the second attic. Unlike the grand staircase though, the stairs to the attic are steep and narrow, made of old stones and covered with a thick coating of dust that kicks up into the air with my every step. That's... Thank god it's still daytime, and if it isn't for the light streaming through the door behind me, I may easily stumble and fall. With how all the places, there are no light fixtures to illuminate the cramped passage up. <coughs> Why they didn't bother to add one here when they renovated and escaped? Jeez, they did it with the rest of the house. Small bedroom welcomes me at the end. Oh my god, why? It looks exactly as it did since the last time I've been here, full of dust, worn out, and faded by. Ada, I thought they cleaned everything. Did the crew miss the room? Oh, uh, Glenliness is the least of my concerns right now. Oh, fuck. The more pressing matters is Rose. She's not here. Was I dreaming when I talked to her a while ago? Did I mishear her? Ah, oh, I'm getting nervous though. No, no, it couldn't have been a dream. After all, the creepy ambience of this estate is doing such a remarkable job of making sure I stay alert and awake. And I'm sure she said she's here in the attic. Is this a prank? It's just a. Oh, sorry. Or maybe that phone call was Rose's last message to me before the curse got to her. Oh, shut up, brain. You're not helping. Don't make this scarier than it already is. But if she's not here, then where is she, though? <coughs> oh, God, what's that? What the hell was that? That's it, I can't do this anymore, I'm leaving. We must have angered spirits living here. I know this disturbing mansion was a bad idea right from the very start, but nobody will listen. Be fucking realistic, they said. They think I'm cuckoo because I believe in curses and ghosts and all that. Me and my outlandish backwater country beliefs. I've always tried to be a model employee, but not this time. No, no. I'm turning back for the sake of my sanity. Okay, turn back, girl. It will be really hard. Briar Realty can find another agent who is more fucking realistic to tour people around this haunted house. Before leaving, I take one last look at the gloomy old room just huh? to check. What's this? Must have caused me to miss it when I first entered my room. But there's clearly something on the floor. A Looks letter? like a letter? Oh my god, it's the title of the game, The Letter. Lying on the ground just a couple of inches away from my feet, out of sugar. I lean down and pick it up. Oh no, this is really creepy. Strange, I don't recall seeing the last time I was here. A few days back, me and a few other AJs inspected the mansion to prepare for today. I had been last to look inside the attic and live, and they certainly hadn't been here before. Someone must have left it in the room since then. Did Rose leave this for me? No, I think not. Was she here a while ago? No, I can't have missed her though, can I? There's only one set of stairs to and from the attic. The letter isn't exactly in pristine condition, in fact, it looks rather ancient. It's rather. The paper is so thin and rough, I'm worried it'll fall apart, apart if I so much as touch it. With great care, I open it and what I read shakes me to my core. Help me. Oh what? no! Oh my god. What, what, oh my god. Nothing but words help me fills the page. All of it seemingly written in a crimson shaded pen. No, it's not. It's blood though, or blood. I got the same page just goes on and on until. Send this to five people or else. Ho oh, ho ho! Send this to five people or else. Or else what? Or else what? Or else what? As quickly as I scan, I can scan the back and pick into the envelope to make sure I'm not missing out on a second page, but there's nothing. No? Oh, please, no. <coughs> she looks so frightened though. That face. My hands tremble as dread creeps over me. The room is suddenly getting colder. I need to get out of here. Holding the paper in half, the sight that creates my neck has for me frozen on the spot. <gasps> oh my god, a pair of blood soaked feet entered my field of vision covered in gaping woods with skin eaten away to rebuild flesh, bone, and all manner of things one isn't meant to see. It's too much. All of it is too much. I want to cry, call for help, but the words catch in my throat. Even my feet won't move completely, completely paralyzed out of terror. Let's look up though. I need to face it. Whoever, whatever this feet belong to, I need to face it. Yeah! Go and be brave, girl. If when if I'm going to die, they're going to kill me at least I don't know what my killer looks like. <laughs> well that's worth it though. A cold comfort so with a different I summoned every ounce of courage I have left in me and shift my case upwards. Oh god, what the fuck is that face? Oh, that's so creepy. 
Please don't hurt. Don't hurt. <laughs> oh my god, that's really creepy though. No! Without thinking, I scramble towards the door. I circle to open it, but it won't work. Stay away! Go away! Please, Lord! Make it go away! <coughs> Why now? Why won't it open now? My heart sinks as reality dawns in. I'm locked in, locked in Let with that thing. It slowly approaches me as I wrench the door now violently back and forth. Oh my, oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god! Uh, I didn't expect this shit! Uh. Oh, that's... Uh, that's tiring. Oh god, I can't... The door finally swings open and I couldn't have been happier. Oh, that's the first encounter to the ghost. That's really... Ah... Uh. And that's really creepy though. Okay, I'll probably stop right here and come back with another episode. I'll just see you. And that's probably it for this episode. This is part one of the letter. Um, this is it. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and like the video or comment anything that would gladly help the channel. Um, this is it. This is Dash dashing out.